We've all felt anger at some point in our lives, whether it's because of a fight with a sibling, getting frustrated over a game, or maybe just getting a bit hangry. But what exactly is happening in our brains when we're angry? A lot of what happens has to do with our amygdala, a small almond-shaped structure in the centre of our brain. The amygdala is known as our threat detector, and it's responsible for sending out an alarm through our brain and body when it thinks we're in danger, giving us the chance to protect ourselves. The amygdala coordinates the release of the neurotransmitter catecholamines, which causes a burst of energy. At the same time, our fight or flight response is triggered. This causes our body to flood with the hormones adrenaline and noradrenaline. Our heart rate increases, our attention focuses, our breathing gets quicker, and our digestion stops to save energy. Our blood flow increases throughout our body, getting our muscles ready for action. The increased blood flow also reaches our faces, which might get a bit flushed, which is why people get described as being red with anger. Being in this state means that our body is prepared for a fight. Have you ever struggled to remember what was said during a really explosive argument? The high level of arousal makes it difficult for new memories to be formed, because our ability to concentrate is significantly decreased. As a threat detector, the amygdala works so fast that an alarm is sent out and we start to physically react before our prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for helping us weigh up our decisions and actions, can even recognise that there's a threat. It takes us about 300 milliseconds to be aware of a threat, but our amygdala will react to the same threat in about 20 milliseconds. Our brains work so that we can react to something quickly, but this means we don't really have time to think about the consequences. This might be why when you lose at your video game, you throw your remote across the room in anger, regardless of what it might hit or break. The amygdala is overriding the prefrontal cortex. However, we do have control over this instinctive response. Something as simple as chewing gum can activate our parasympathetic nervous system. This is the opposite to our fight or flight response. It's our rest and digest response. By chewing gum, the body is forced to prepare for digestion, which it would not do in the fight or flight response. Actively controlling our breathing also activates our parasympathetic nervous system. It decreases our heart rate, lowers blood pressure and slows breathing. You can try it now. Breathe in through your nose for 4 seconds and then breathe out through your mouth for 6 seconds. Do this a few times. How do you feel? So remember, the amygdala is our brain's threat detector, the amygdala reacts quicker to threats than our prefrontal cortex, and when we're angry, it can be hard to remember what we've said. <laughs>